Welcome everyone to Sewone Korean School. As it has been posted here, we are supposed to have uh, a free tutorial on coding. This is one of the first ones we've done just to help students develop interest in coding. This is a Sewone Korean School. And then the topics to be treated will soon be on your screen. Um, the instructor, I, the speaker here, my name is Ibrahim Sewuni, Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Engineering, Accra Institute of Technology. Now the topics we are going to discuss on is coding, definition of coding, what coding is, myths about coding, certain things people have said to discourage students from learning how to code, and the importance of coding. Alright, so without wasting much time, let's just start. Coding, what is coding? We've heard coding several times, some are saying coding is difficult. So what is coding? Coding simply means writing statements in a programming language or markup language. Now, programming language or markup language, that means that they are not the same. Markup language different from programming languages because markup languages are just HTML and CSS. And then programming languages are the one that involves is a calculation so writing statement in programming languages is what we call coding and we all know that when we say coding we are referring to what programming and coding is the foundation behind every software or web pages so software for programming languages web pages for markup languages and could be considered the heart of uh, of computing everything on the internet is coding every software you use is coding from the Googles to the Facebooks to almost every other thing every application we use was coded if I may say that now we are going to meet about coding now the first myth is one must have a degree in computer science engineering or IT to be able to become a successful coder this is not true now everyone can code when i say everyone can code it means all levels of education from primary to let's say jhs shs university everyone has the potential to be able to code so one does not have a degree so those of you who are afraid one needs a degree to be able to work code that is factually inaccurate now the second myth about coding is that oh one has to be one genius a computer wizard to be able to code no coding is just some simple logic one needs to be able to what to code simple logic you don't have to become a you don't have to become a you don't have to become a wizard to be able to uh, to code. Now let's move on to the third myth, which is about um, learning almost every programming language, from Python to JavaScript, PHP. One must what? Learn everything. No, you just have to learn just one or two of them and it will help you in learning almost everything the fundamentals are just the same just that the languages are different now one can become a successful coder within few months of coding that is also not true people come to learn how to code thinking that oh, within few weeks of learning how to code you can build real world applications that is not true it needs consistency years to become a very successful coder the fifth one is one has to learn from young age i'm too old to code that is not true like i said in the introduction 
you can learn how to code at all ages all levels whether you are six or you are 67 or 70 you don't have to be young to learn so no one is old most people actually learn how to code after they've even crossed 40 now code is boring no code is fun code is no boring at all so, now things that coding is we talk about myth about coding things things that is not related to coding what people say about coding now we are going to discuss things that are real about coding coding is hard work coding is dedication you have to be, you have to be dedicated you want to code do it consistently you're supposed to be creative in coding very 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 creative fun and useful so coding is not boring at all it is also relevant in every industry almost every industry needed for marketing engineering agriculture banking everything now simple logic that's that's what i'm telling you you don't need a degree you don't have to be a wizard it's just simple logic as opposed to follow a name straightforward you become a coder the fundamentals are the same you're not supposed to learn all programming languages no age limits 70 or 7 and you have many resources to learn coding from now for free and for if you want to pay you can opt for what paid courses you can learn from your home anytime uh, now importance of coding four major reasons why you need how to you must know how to code even if you're not an engineer yeah. one coding will make you self worth sufficient what does it mean uh, to make you self-sufficient so you'll be on your own now like the slide is showing us so so many people have learned coding and they are not engineers and it has helped them in their endeavor you don't have to call your colleague who is a coder for simple simple things so when you know how to code certain logics yourself you become self-sufficient you don't ask your friend for almost everything you don't ask your friend for almost everything now the second one is it will teach you how to think steve jobs once said i think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer because it teaches you how to think he says he sees computer science as a liberal art and therefore everyone must know how to how to do it now learning to program also makes your attention to detail skyrocket to make you pay critical attention to what to detail for instance when you miss a dot that is a period or what we call a full stop a semicolon a colon a parenthesis your code will not run so this will force you to what pay attention to almost every detail now we are going to the third which is um it will improve your communication and collaboration skills go through you can pause and then now this makes you a better communicator you can communicate with engineers who actually understand the thing sometimes when we don't understand the food of others we tend to see them as not important or the course is too technical and when you are able to do it yourself you'll be able to work to engage with them and the next point is it can take your career to the next height this one everybody knows that now when you learn how to call yourself instead of paying a different person to do it for you do it for yourself you pocket the money and then it makes you out do it employers also up to you as an option so when when there's a company they are looking for people to employ and they add coding if you add coding that means coding will be an what an added advantage for you now why learning to code is very very important especially in children of nowadays so you should learn if a parent let your child learn how to at least program 
let them learn how to program even for even markup languages developing a coding literacy may mean a lot to them when they grow up at this time we already witness how technology is shaping the world more and more jobs require at least some basic computer literacy now this is what i'm talking about at least you need some basic knowledge some coding skills okay you get a well-paid job to enjoy learn how to code a whole world full of opportunities opens for them this leads to more innovation and critical thinking problem solving skills for your child in life we often need to break challenges into small tasks so we can see the big picture coding requires analyzing different situations and thinking about what might happen so coding has a lot of now if children learn how to code when they are young they will develop fluidity in their thinking which means they will be able to tell a story in exact particular order because many children use video games to learn how to code they know how to follow or even create their own storyline or code sequence now every parent will be satisfied knowing that their child is not limited in knowledge besides only using smartphones and tablet there is more to strive for and coding is a great skill to all to have in this technology oriented world now this is all we will give for today we will be doing this thing almost every month to at least remind us to develop interest in coding. Uh, thank you very much. I am Ibrahim Sewuni once again.